MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Scott, here we have an Eagle V9 high-speed machining centre from OPS Ingersoll. What's the spec of the machine? So we have a travel of 800 by 600 by 500 for the three-axis configuration. OK, what's the build quality of the machine? What's the base made of? So the base is made of uh, what we call FEM. It's a, it's a polymer concrete style casting, but we still maintain the, uh, the steel casting in the, in the gantry design, as is traditional with all the OPS Ingersoll machines. What's the benefit of that? So that gives us real dampening uh, uh, features when we're looking at uh, doing larger roughing uh, machining. As you can see, this is a much larger machine compared to its smaller brother, the V5. With OPS Ingersoll, they're renowned for quality and accuracy. What sort of tolerances can we achieve on this machine? So tolerance is always difficult to predict. It really does, does depend on your strategies, cam systems, and the, the setup procedures and environment that you go through. But typically, we can expect you know, five micron accuracy. Five micron. So how do we guarantee this? So what we do is we have a multitude of measurement cycles around the machine uh, that measure temperature uh, to give us that accuracy, including in the spindle where we're measuring the what we call the dilatation in growth of the spindle. Yeah, I get that. But how do we guarantee that part when it comes off is what the machine says? So. One of the options on the machine is what we call Delcam Power Inspect. We offer it as a standard on all the machine tools. This gives the operator the chance when he walks in in the morning, if he's maybe machined uh, 10 or 20 components overnight, maybe in an automation system, he can also probe or set points around the part to probe and then get a feedback or a report system that highlights to him where there may be an issue so he can decide whether or not he wants to remachine that component or if it's an electrode, use it as a roughing electrode. And I notice it's a trunnion machine. What's the largest component we can fit on it? So the largest diameter would be 600, up to 500 kg on the fourth and the fifth axis, two tons on the three axis. Again, it's quite a large component for a small footprint, isn't it? It is. We try to give, again, the, uh, the maximum that we can uh, by having that low underslung uh, trunnion table. And there's a door on the side. I presume that's for automation? Yes, we're able to uh, load from right or from left-hand side uh, up to 500 uh, square pallets. What spindle options have we? So we have uh, everything from uh, HSK40 uh, uh, up to HSK63, giving us a range of 18,000 up to 42,000 on the spindle. And how large is the ATC? Up to 88 positions in the standard ATC, which is mounted centrally into the machine tool. And the controls available? Uh, control, we're using a, a selection of Heidenheim controls. This machine is renowned for metal removal, so how is this achieved? So in conjunction with the gantry design, which gives us great stability, the V9 has a very unique feature. Uh, it's very new for us. We have a double gantry drive system in the x-axis. So this means instead of having one point that, where the axis could actually tip around, by having two points, we support the axis top and bottom. So what we've got here, we've got a machine tool that's great for metal removal, but well, I've also seen some of the surface finishes of the components and it's staggering. That's right. Um, for, for the larger moulds, uh, it gives a great flexibility for those, also things like aerospace components, of course, but being able to do the fine finishing, electrode manufacture, all on the same machine, it's a great all-rounder. So where is this product available? So it's available from HK Technologies. We've been working together with OPS Ingersoll since 2002. We've got great confidence in the product. It really is a great all-round solution, and we only see the business growing and growing.